Hi, this is Andy Traub with DigiHowTo.com. I want to show you how you can sign up for and install and get set up with Evernote in just a few minutes. If you'd like to get a free month of Evernote Premium, which is the highest level they have, you can do that by going to DigiHowTo.com slash free Evernote. And when you go there, you'll click on the top link, click here for a free month of Evernote Premium. So we're gonna go ahead and sign up a new account right here. So let me use one of my many email addresses. And there we go, there's one and password. You're gonna download it and it's gonna be in the bottom of your menu bar. You're gonna take this Evernote icon, drop it into your applications folder, which is quite simple. And then you're gonna open up Evernote to get started. And you can also get it in the uh, App Store, download from the App Store uh, on uh, a Mac. So I've already got uh, my Evernote installed on my computer, but I have to log in. So let's jump over there to my Evernote and I'll do my email address, password. And now I am signing in. And this is what you're gonna see. Now it's gonna help you in the very beginning, create notes, search your notes, sync your Evernote account, share notes, and set reminders. So it's gonna give you some different uh, tutorials on how to do that. Let's close that for now. And I just wanna uh, draw your attention to the four different areas of your Evernote desktop, which is the toolbar up here. Then you've got the sidebar, then you've got your notes list view, and then you've got your individual notes hey, it's empty, so let's make a note. But first, let's customize this top toolbar. Yours will probably not look like that. Let's go ahead and customize it, and we'll just put the default one. So we'll drag the default right there. And I just took it and I drug it up there. Now this is what the default toolbar will look like. You can change this, it's really, really slick. Go ahead and right click and click Customize Toolbar. And then you can just move these things around. You can take them out like that. Uh, or you can add them like this, put them in a different order. I think that'll do for right now. Let's go ahead and click done. So we've customized our toolbar. That took about 30 seconds. And the left side here, we've got shortcuts and then our notes, notebooks, all these larger areas of our Evernote account. We don't wanna see all those. I don't wanna see the market, that list announcement. Let's go to uh, view and then sidebar options and I don't want announcements, I don't want market, and it's gonna leave that upgrade there for a while, but I don't want my Atlas either. So there we go. So uh, now we have notes, notebooks, it's gonna ask me to upgrade still, which I'm not gonna do yet. Let's go ahead and make a new note. Well, obviously the quickest way to do that is to click right here. And you can see here we've got uh, the note title and when it was created. So we're gonna call this test note number one, text. All right, it'll update the title right there. I don't like this view, it's too big and I'll show you why. I'm gonna go ahead and hit make a new note and we're gonna call this test note number two, audio. All right, and you can see these are starting to fill up. Let's make one more, I'm gonna hit command N for making a new note there, that's another shortcut. We'll call this test note number three. Uh, image. All right, so I think those are too big. It's not that bad if you only have four or five, but I want a different view. So I'm gonna click right here. Again, remember this is our sidebar. This is our notes list. I'm gonna click right here and choose the side list view. So there it is. I like that view a lot better. And we can drag these and make them a little smaller. We don't need that much room. Make that a little smaller. We're gonna drag this and make it a little smaller. Now, if you wanna move any of these around, you can also do that as well. Drag and move them around. And we'll leave those as they are. Now, we've got those three notes. So test three, uh, note number three is the image. So what do we use images for? Well, you can drag an image from your desktop or you can take an image with your camera. So right here's our camera. Let's turn it on. And let's take a snapshot. Hey! All right, took a snapshot. Let's use that. There we go. Now let's go to audio. Let's do an audio note. And we're gonna click in here and here's the little microphone. And we're gonna hit record and we're recording, woo! Now we've got an audio note and now we've got our text note. This is text. 
Obviously you can highlight that and go up here and make it bold, italic, underline. You can also use your normal shortcuts like Control B or Command B, which will make it bold or unbold. Uh, Command U for underline, Command I for italicize. Lots of cool, great uh, little shortcuts for that. And obviously you can change the text color or even highlight it just like that. Pretty slick, even change the font. So we've got our text, audio, and image. Now, the other way you can organize your notes are using tags. So let's just make a few tags. We're gonna call this work. It's gonna, so it's gonna be one of our tags, it's called work. Another one's gonna call, uh, let's call this one personal. It's another. These are just labels you can have for your, um, for your different notes. So let's go over here to tags. And you can see we've got three different tags, goofy, personal, and work. Just remember that anytime you have a note, you can have multiple tags on that note. So I, it's just sort of like a sticky note. It's a label. It's a something small you put on your note so you can organize it a different way. So uh, in the sidebar you've got here is recent notes and then shortcuts. So if you want to change the way that is viewed, you can go to view, sidebar, and then do we want those shortcuts? Sure. Do we want recent notes? Sure. All right, so you can leave that in there. So let's make some of these shortcuts. Let's go over to our notes. And let's just say we want to take this note and make it a shortcut. We'll drop it into shortcuts. And now, no matter how many notes, we could have thousands of notes, but over here in the shortcuts area, we can have a shortcut to a note. The other cool thing about the shortcuts area is you can put tags or notebooks. So in this shortcuts area, we went over to tags and you can take one of these tags, drag it over the side, and now you've got a shortcut. You can see this little icon right there, that's a tag. This one is a note. So we very quickly have set up our sidebar, our notes view, and our individual notes in our toolbar. You are set up and ready to go with your Evernote account. Obviously you can do things like add notebooks, share notebooks. There's so much you can do to customize this once you're inside of it, but you are set up in just a few minutes with your Evernote account.